it is finished. At three o'clock on Good Friday, the Gospel of John tells us that Jesus was given a drink and his last words were, it is finished. And when he said those words, he gave up his spirit. There's something very powerful about that for us. Now, we've been working on a project all week, and it's finished, too. It is made out of a glass that, that looks very much like um, blood. And uh, blood's one of those things we don't really like to talk about. It's one of those things that, uh, especially we talk about the blood of Christ, and for a while there, we tried to back away from that. But I think this world understands the, the power of blood and, and uh, even more than we did when I was a kid. And so today, I, I think that uh, it was appropriate to use this glass for this cross to celebrate this Holy Week together. And um, as we finish up these days together, I, I want us to just remember that he finished it. All the things that we bear and hold on to were finished on this Good Friday. Sometimes we can't forgive people and sometimes we can't forgive ourselves. But Jesus Christ died on that cross to free us, to finish, to finish the hold that sin has on us. And so the mission was accomplished. It was finished. The debt was paid in full. And those last words have, have a deep impact and power if we'll just let them absorb into us. So today as we celebrate this uh, three o'clock hour when when Jesus said those last words and gave up his spirit, it's my prayer that you would receive the power of what he did. Let's pray together. Lord God, thank you so much for your wondrous love shown to us through Jesus Christ. We thank you for the power of the cross. We thank you that we can sing hymns like nothing but the blood and that we can realize the depth of your love that came through the blood of Jesus Christ. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus, and I pray you would bless all these, your children. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, and we'll talk again probably later tonight.